The lightning detection sensor is connected to Raspberry Pi and Raspberry Pi is now recognizing it as an I2C device. But here's the problem. How do you know if the sensor is working? I need some way of testing it. Do I have to wait for a thunderstorm to come? That's big off season. Uh, apparently you can cast some spare home to call for a thunderstorm. I will not try that. Fortunately, one of the Raspberry Pi forum members suggested me to use a either lightning simulator module or one of those, a kitchen lighter. Let's try that. Okay, now I'm going to run this demo program. Now it's trying to detect lightning. Let's try to trigger one of this. I detected something. I am now triggering this right next to the sensor. It's still the noise. No, doesn't work. But at least it is detecting pitching lighter as a noise. I'll try again. I wonder what else I can use to trigger lightning. I'll try again anyway. Okay, come on. It's noise. Noise. I wonder if I turn on fluorescent light, am I gonna trigger it? Okay, fluorescent light is registered as a noise as well. How about normal light? Turn it off and on. Not normal light doesn't do. It's a fluorescent light. Detect as a noise. How about if I do fluorescent light and kitchen light at the same time? Okay. One, two, three. Now it is still noise. Okay, let's try with bigger poison light. Noise a little too high, adjusting. Okay. How about this? It's a portable cooktop. It's got a bit of lightning there. Alright, let's try and see if it's going to detect. Still a noise.
So how I did it is that I set this up on top of dishwasher while it's running and then I was triggering this, striking this and started to detect lightning for some reason. It's a strange combination. Dishwasher and kitchen lighter. Every time. Here you go. Strange. Okay, so that was a bit of a struggle, but I met this lightning sensor working in the end. So, next few videos, I'll try to make other sensors working. So, thanks for watching, and arigatou gozaimashita.